So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to use Base44, which is an AI app builder that can build a variety of different software platforms for you. And you don't need to know how to code. There's no technical experience required. Uh, and you can essentially build anything that you can put your mind to. Now it's 2025 and we've seen a lot of advancements in AI and vibe coding and the ability to build software without needing to know the technicals of it. And that's what Base44 has allowed us to do. And so I wanna watch you through this and show you exactly how to use it, how to optimize it, creating the best prompts for getting the results that you're looking for, uh, whether you're attempting to build software that you can, you know, bundle and sell to consumers, or maybe you just want to build software for yourself, for your own business, um, or you might want to build something more simple, like a website that looks clean, that you can add a calculator to, or some other uh, things that you don't really find on traditional website builders, then this is the platform for you. So what I'm going to do in this video is walk you through an example product. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to build a DocuSign competitor. Now, DocuSign is a multi-billion dollar company. They've spent a lot of time coding, but with Base44, we don't need to know how to do that. And so what we're going to do, we're going to get started here. So uh, you can go to sandtrailmedia.com slash Base44. I'll leave a link to it down below, as well as any discount codes that we can get for you guys as we walk you through this tutorial here. Okay, so go ahead and check that out you can go to that link and you can kind of follow along here and there's some really important prompts that we need to make sure that we nail so all we have to do here is just talk to the platform talk to the ai and it will help us to build exactly what we're looking for and what stands out with base 44 is that they have the back end functionality built into it so you know, not to get too technical here, because I assume that most of the viewers here don't have experience with coding. But when you are building software or you're even building a website, there's a lot of back end things that need to be done with authentication, with the ability for people to create accounts, um, authorization. So there's a lot of things that you'll need to do. But Base44 bundles it all together and just makes it very easy for you. And this is what sets them apart from some of their competitors like um, Lovable or some of the other ones as well. So what we're going to do is is we're going to create a prompt here to have base 44 build out our MVP, our minimum of vi viable product. And so the importance here is that we really want to nail the first prompt because I've seen people type in like just one sentence of saying like, build me a DocuSign competitor and it doesn't come out to be what they want. So you have to give it a lot of details in the first prompt of what you're looking for. And so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to have ChatGPT actually help us make a prompt because AI just tends to make better prompts for us. So let me go over there. Okay, so I had ChatGPT help us to create a prompt for Base44. And this is going to go over the specifics of the core features that I'm looking for, the differentiators I'm looking for, the deliverables of what I'm expecting Base44 to create. And so I'm just going to copy this here and I can add on to it as well. Maybe I want to tell them the specific color schemes. Maybe I want, you know, something that is um, blue and white or purple and white as my color scheme. But once I figure out my prompt properly, then all I have to do is click this button right here and base 44 will begin to uh, create this for me. So let me just sign in here. Okay. And now it's building our app for us. It's building this DocuSign competitor. And this could take a couple of minutes just because it's doing a lot of coding. It's actually coding for us, which is incredible because, you know, in the past, if you wanted to build any piece of software or even a website, you would have to pay a developer tens of thousands or sometimes hundreds of thousands of dollars just to get a product that we can now make in 10 minutes. So it's really incredible having that ability to do that. So it's working on this right now. It's thinking about how to optimize this for mobile as well, how to deal with things like, uh, you know, signature interface, building out those signature workflows. Uh, there's a lot that goes into this that Base44 is doing for us right now. Okay, so while we are waiting for Base44 to build this out for us on the first run, what I wanna show you here is some of the pricing on the platform. So I find it to be very affordable. Uh, they have a free option, which is great because it allows you to check it out, create an account and just, you know, play around with it and see if it's even capable of building what you are looking for. Hint it. it it probably is. It's it's really great. But with the free plan, you're getting 25 message credits per month. So every time you talk back and forth with the AI and you're prompting it to change something, that's going to count as a credit. Okay. And so going back and forth, talking to the AI, that is kind of how they uh, bill you. That's how they judge how much you're going to pay for this platform. So I think a lot of people can get away with the starter plan, which is 
500 message credits per month for your platform. And at $16 a month, I mean, this is cheaper than most website builders, which is pretty incredible. So, and you can go all the way up to the elite plan at $160 a month, but you probably don't need that right off the bat. You can just start out with e either the free plan or the starter plan when you're building out your product. So overall, very affordable, probably some of the best pricing that I've seen for one of these AI software builders. So let's go back and see if it has completed our first draft of the app that we're looking to build and it's still working on it. So let's give it another minute. All right, and it looks like it's loading now and they found an error, but uh, it will fix that automatically. And as this is still working on this, let me show you some of the settings here. So if we click on in the bottom left corner, we can click on settings and we can actually change the AI model as well. So if we wanted to use GPT-5 or Claude Sonnet or Gemini, we can have that changed up um, as we would like if there's one that we prefer. And if we look at AI controls as well, um, we have the ability to have it freeze uh, different files as well. If you just kind of kind of want to get into the details there, but it looks like it has finally created the first draft for Santral Sign. So let's take a look at it and let's see how it looks. So we're in the preview version right now. And so this is the initial dashboard that it has created for us. And so what we can do, we can see it on desktop or we can even switch to mobile view as well and see what we want to change with it. So it looks like, you know, right here, maybe we want to change that it's not perfectly set for mobile. So we'll have to tell it to fix that for us. Let's go back to desktop here and we can attempt to start testing it out. And maybe we want to change something as simple as like the color scheme. Maybe, you know what, actually let's do a purple color scheme. Okay. So it's changed that color scheme to purple for us. Uh, that was easy enough. We just and told it what to do. Now I want to check the upload document ability and see if it actually works because sometimes these AI software builders will build something for you, but it's broken. And so you need to verify all of this. So let's go ahead and check this out. Let me just upload a file here and see if we have the ability to upload it and then uh, the ability to sign it or send a link to someone else to complete the signing. So uh, let me do that now. I'm going to choose a file. Okay. So I've attached a file. I'm going to click upload document and the document has been uploaded and it shows up right here in the files and I can click on draft and I can make sure that I can actually view it, right? So let me do that. And now we can see where something is broken, right? So if we click on view, it doesn't pop up. If we click on edit, it doesn't pop up and same for send for signature. So I'm just going to tell it, look, um, these buttons aren't working. How do we fix this? So I told it when I click view, edit or send for signature, the buttons don't seem to work. So let's see what its response is. It should fix that for us uh, relatively quickly. And it'll talk to us and tell us what the problem was and how they're going to fix it. Now you'll also notice two options down here. We have visual edit and we have discuss. So the visual edit feature allows you, if you click on this, now you can go over specifics on what you want it to change. Maybe there's something really specific about this button and you want to be very clear on what you're looking for it to change. So you could click on this with the visual edit and it will know what you're talking about. And just because sometimes you'll say, can you change this button? And it might not know which button you're talking about. So that helps kind of clear the air for base 44 to work on the specific problem problem or feature that you are looking for. And the discuss feature here is if you're looking for advice or ideas, you can talk back and forth with it to get better ideas of things that you can do to make your product better. And so let's go back here. And uh, we talked to it about how when we click on view, edit or send for signature that there were problems with it. And so it acknowledged that, you know, there were problems, the buttons weren't wired up properly. And so they had to implement some functionality to make sure that it actually works. Um, and this is where you have to catch it. And this is why I can't build it from scratch without your assistance. The AI still needs some direction and some help when finding things that are broken. Okay, so now let's see if this actually works. Let's go to the document that we just uploaded. We can click on this button. And now if we click on view, it will take us into the document and it has downloaded the document. Let's make sure that it's correct. And that is the document that I uploaded and it looks like it's intact. It looks perfect. Um, and this is the one that I wanted to send out for signature. Uh, it's a Kansas agricultural land value document that I just found on my uh, laptop. But uh, let's say I wanted someone to sign that. So now that button works. Let's see if we can edit and send. Let's click on this button. Okay. And so now we have to fix this, that the edit and send feature seems to need a little bit more help as well. All right. So I told it that the edit and send button was still broken and that uh, it's just a blank page. So I wanted to create a button that will have the ability to send that email for the document to be signed. And once again, you can really build 
anything with this. So I'm just showing you how to do a DocuSign, like document signing service. But if you wanted to build a website that has uh, financial calculators on it, or maybe you wanted to build like a weight loss tracker as a web app that you can have your followers or your friends use, and you can all track your weight progress, you can build that out using this as well. So it's super versatile on what you're looking to build. It's really anything in the realm of software or apps or even websites that it can create for you. Okay, so we've hit our limit on our daily credits for the free plan. So we can either come back tomorrow and keep talking to it and we'll get more credits or we can view all plans and we can select the starter plan, which is what I'm going to do right now. And so we get 100 monthly credits and 2000 integration credits. So let's do that now. And I'm actually just going to sign up for the monthly plan. All right. And now we can get back to work here. So so the edit and send button, um, let's click on this and there's an issue. So um, it finds its own issues as well. So uh, we can just tell it to resolve that issue right now. And once it resolves these issues and we have the ability to send those documents off for people to sign and then send back uh, and be in our document signing database, I'm then going to have it create a little bit of a better layout. So I want to have a home page, like a landing page. I want to have a signing page. I want to have a login page that will take you to the signing page. And then maybe some other information about uh, the company, like an about page on the company, kind of like how you would have a website set up. So I'm going to do that uh, once it's finished with creating this product. So let's wait for this. And now when we click on edit and send, we are making some progress. So we have the ability to send this, right? So let's say I want to send this to Mike and he's going to be the signer of it. So I can just click add. And now he's on the recipient list and they still found a problem here with evaluating the module components. Um, so this is some technical jargon here. We can just have it fix that issue as well. Okay. So it uh, has fixed that problem. Now we can go to edit and send and we should have the ability to add a recipient and then send that out. So let's try that now. So I added myself as a recipient here and I'm going to save this as a draft and I can even add fields here so I can have a signature that I want on the document, right? And then I have the ability to send the document. Now you'll notice that uh, this is just a blank page. And so this is going to be another error or issue that we're going to have to resolve before we have the actual confidence to send that out. But let's just test it and see if we can send the document and make sure that that part of it works. And the document has been sent successfully. So I'll go ahead, I'll check my email and make sure it's in there. And so we also have the ability to see the progress of documents that have been sent out. So we have the sent, we have completed, we have drafts, um, we have partials. And so that's the basics of setting that up. Now let's say that we want to change up this interface here because this is what we have as the page for uploading documents and sending them out. But I want to make sure that I have um, a home page and a login page as well. So it's working on creating that product page, a sign-in page, and a documents page for us just to make this interface look a lot cleaner. And remember, we can always go back to mobile and make sure that everything looks good on there as well. Uh, don't forget to go back and forth and check with it. And it, you know, it can modify both mobile and desktop so you can reference uh, those specific layouts that you're looking for. Now, if at any time, uh, you make a mistake and you tell it to do the wrong thing or you don't like what it did, you can always go into your version history and you can go back to other versions of the product that's been being built out for you. I mean, you can go back to that version and start from there again. So sometimes it'll happen where you'll be talking back and forth for a while. You'll realize that it's not what you want and you can just go back to the first prompt and have it you know, restart it and work from scratch again. So while it's working on this, I also want to show you how to publish this and get it live. And so if you go to the upper right corner, we can click on publish. And then what I would recommend doing is a security scan as well. So we can have this scan for security, make sure that all of our bases are covered because um, I've seen people launch apps and then they'll get hacked instantly or they'll have data leaks because it's not bulletproof so you want to make sure that you have your security and you take it very seriously luckily base 44 will help you with that and they'll find those security uh, potential issues there and so we could apply fixes there to uh, make sure that all users don't have full access because that could be a bit of a problem and so uh, once we have that and it's still working in the meantime on building out our pages here so uh, let's go back to preview and so um, we now have the dashboard we have the documents we have templates and we have recipients page all right now one other thing that is going to be important is the ability to accept payments for your app uh, that you're creating okay and so uh, they've already kind of built a little bit of it for us here um, for the ability to upgrade to pro and you can set all of the parameters on on what constitutes uh, the, the need for upgrading to the pro version of the app or software that you're building. So maybe for example, we 
want it to be after the third document that gets sent out and signed, then we'll prompt you with the ability to upgrade to pro. Um, so let's click on this and see if it's, it looks like it's a dead button right now. So let's tell it to make an upgrade to pro page that will uh, integrate with Stripe and uh, you'll be able to connect Stripe. You'll have to set up a Stripe account um, and then you can connect that to your base 44 software so that it can basically set up payments and the ability for you to make money with this. So now it looks like those backend functions have been enabled. They set it up for us to have the ability to connect our Stripe account so that we can collect those payments. So let's click on this button and see if it works. And so here we go. Uh, it made a full page for us that prompts people to upgrade to Stand Trail Sign Pro. And it looks pretty good. I mean, you know, I like how this, this looks uh, and, and they even priced it properly. And so that's really great to see. Um, we have the free plan. We have the pro plan. These are the things that you get with the pro plan, unlimited documents, custom branding, API access. So this looks pretty great. And now let's see how this button takes us here. If we click on upgrade now, and this is where we need to integrate our Stripe account. So what you're going to do here, if you want to collect payments is you're going to go over to Stripe and you're going to set up an account, and then you're going to give it the specific access code and you can just give it to base 44 and then it will integrate that for you and you'll have the ability to collect payments and you can test it out yourself make sure that it works and so yeah those are the basics of how to use this platform um, one more thing that I want to touch on here is going to be publishing and making your app or your website go live and so if we go to the upper right corner we can click on publish and so we have some options for the domain that we want it to be published on so if we just copy this link here um, and we go to another site here we can open this up and this is uh, what our central sign looks like you can create an account you can sign into it but the domain is really long and and weird and so we can actually get custom domains through base 44 as well and so uh, if we click on manage here we can actually get domains so we can view plans here to uh, use a custom domain and if you've gotten this far and you really think that your app has a lot of potential then you can upgrade to have that ability to uh, create those custom domains as well let's go back to our app here and you can edit that url even you can make it just uh, simple. So now it's centralsign.base44.app. But once again, you can you know purchase a plan that will allow you to have a cleaner uh, domain. It could just be centralsign.com or something even simpler than that. So um, those are the basics. Uh, you can also share this app as well. You can just uh, click on the share button, copy that link and send it out. You can send it out to uh, email addresses and get people's feedback from it. I would be happy to see the apps and the sites that you build using this product. So feel free to work on it, build it out, send it to me. You can uh, either DM it to me on Instagram or on Twitter, or you can even email it to me. I'm happy to take a look and try to give some people some feedback on things that I think are really great about the product or things that I would do differently on the product. Um, if you just like an, a, a second opinion, um, I'm happy to share my thoughts on that. So those are the basics of how to use Base44. It's really a game changer in terms of product. Don't forget, we have a link down below in the description. It's an affiliate link. So um, if you appreciate the free content here. I don't have anything to sell you, um, but if you appreciate the free content and you want to support the channel, I would love if you use the link down below to sign up for Base44 if you want to build something out. So thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section, and I hope everyone has a great time building their product.